Hello lovely, welcome to another studio vlog from Hammy Dorset. I'm Kula, this is my studio space. Come on in, grab a cuppa and join me. So it's a bit dark because it's actually eight o'clock in the morning, but the light is like this. Um, that's autumn for you. We're heading into the old winter now. Um, yeah, so today I'm gonna be prepping the apron, getting that ready. I've got a couple of new characters I wanna share with you I'm really excited about. And I've got a whole pile of cards I need to get through. I mean, it's gotta be out of hand, let me show you. <laughs> shiny, shiny. I keep forgetting to film my day. But I'm doing so well, I'm just ploughing through all the jobs that need doing. I've just cut a bunch of these. Some, some bee stickers. I've used new different glittery stuff on these cards. But they're taking a lot longer to dry than, than they normally do, which is a little bit frustrating. I don't need that part of the printer, but it would be handy if they weren't just all lined up. I would have made specific place for them to dry if I'd known they were going to take so long. Just sorting all these out into their piles. Daughter and son-in-law, son and daughter-in-law, niece, nephew, brother, sister-in-law, man and granddad, son, brother and brother-in-law. It goes on and on. freebies for the monster card packs for these ones for the Christmas cards. I thought I'd pop them in the back just to say thank you and happy Christmas. Perfect, absolutely perfect. You can pop those on their envelopes then when they send the cards. If that's your bag, if not, pass them on to somebody who is. <laughs> Love them. Cute. Never guess what I'm doing. Painting another shelf. <laughs> yes, <laughs> another shelf. This one's going to sit on top of where the printer is. Well, not actually on the printer, obviously. Um, but the Canon printer can go on there, which would give me a bit more space. Got my cup of tea on the log store. That's bereft of plants right now. And some emulsions. So I'm going to give this an emulsion coat first, and then I'll give it a couple of coats of a good satin wood. And we're just waiting for a leg to come, like a bar stool leg. Oh, that's Tracy putting the uh, buttons up on the wall. 
And look at this, guys. How magical is that? So we chose laminated pine because it's super strong, which is what we need because that printer that the Canon printer we're putting on it is blooming heavy. Um, and because I love the smell of it. Obviously, once it's painted, I won't be able to smell it, but <laughs> it's lush, proper timber. None of your MDF. Yes. Sustained forests and all that malarkey. Buttes. So the new buttons are up for the next shelf. <laughs> I've just left it in the garden drying. And we're just waiting for a leg to come, which will be kind of here, like a breakfast by leg. And then I can move that printer, which is really in my way when I'm sitting there. On top of that, it'll sit there. And then I'll have that area there for when I'm packing orders and things. It's just another bit of table space which I'm sorely missing at the minute. Okay, so today has been a really satisfying day. You know, one of those days where you just managed to get lots done and um, they were all like little niggly things that I've been trying to get through to, for ages, like sorting out the Christmas cards. They were just kind of piling up on top of each other. It was taking me a long time to find each order. And now they're all sectioned with their little labels and it's really easy to find things, which is really exciting. And Tracy helped me to pack some of those, which is really brilliant. And she's such a help with my business. Really appreciate that. Um, I got my shelf painted, I got some number fives and sixes for the stickers that I needed to do and um, luckily because someone actually ordered five number fives <laughs> this afternoon so, so that was that was handy. Um, maybe I knew. Do, 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 do. Uh, I got photographs done of, of the new products including the new little bear cards. I experimented with the new glitter glue and that's kind of worked out fine. They have eventually dried. I just need to remember that in future and maybe stick them the night before. So all in all, a very satisfying day. It is only about half four, but I am absolutely pooped. I got up at, I woke up at half six and then it wasn't that long and I got up because, you know, once you start thinking about it, especially if you're excited. I mean, I love my job and I get really excited about it. I get really excited about what I'm going to do that day, especially if it involves creativity. It just makes me buzz and I can't, you know, I do, oh, well, you know, I ask any artist, I get really excited, so I have to get up and get on. And just to add to that, of course, I'm not actually finished for the day. I will come back at about seven and do my orders. <laughs> so I'll be doing it again for a couple of hours. But I'm going to go for a chill now. Ciao. Any other old ladies play Animal Crossing on a really battered old 3DS? <laughs> I'm really hoping Father Christmas brings me the Switch. That would be so amazing. But I find it really kind of helps me chill out and I just get into the zone of the little game. And that's my little character. That's a li little mini cooler. And I'm kind of just in the space. You know, what do you do to kind of chill out? Anybody else play along with me? So today I'm going to try using this paper to make some sort of branding on this apron. It's a new one. I've just bought it. La la. Yeah, so I've got to follow the instructions because I tried doing using that paper on this t-shirt and I actually followed the instructions for a different packet of sticker paper. So it all disappeared off as soon as I washed it. <laughs> Very typical to me. Um, so I'm going to actually look them up online and see what I need to do. Okay, let's try that, shall we? Right, so I just printed this out. It reckons you print it the way it's supposed to look, not in reverse, which, I, which is what I thought. I thought this is the one I'd use, but I'm just worried that it's going to be all this white showing and it'd be like just a white shiny plastic. I don't know if I should have made them. Maybe I can just cut round. I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to have to make it up and see how we go as we go along. And uh, yeah, and I'll just cut those as um, sort of standbys. You know, I could pop them on little pencil cases or stuff like that. I might try it. Maybe I'll put a little bit on my sleeve. Um, this is obviously a painting t-shirt. I have more of them than I have real clothes. Them and pyjamas. Are you the same? Are you a maker in the same? You know, I don't need to leave the house really, so <laughs> it doesn't make sense to have real clothes, does it? Okay, so I've just pressed it enough just on this towel. Um, this bit a little bit. And I'm just thinking, if I'm popping that in there, won't it just be this big block of white? Maybe I should have done it on a yellow background, and then it could have been shaped or something. I don't know. I mean, should I go round this like a bit arty like, or am I just gonna plop it on this time? You know, I'm thinking I'm just gonna plop it on and uh, 
I think it'd be better than nothing. You know what, I might round the corners. That'll look a tidier. Um, and then apparently I just literally put a cover over the top. I'm going to use greaseproof paper. I think you're supposed to use silicone or teflon sheets. But I'm going to try it with greaseproof paper, keep my fingers crossed. And uh, iron it. Obviously you're supposed to use a heat press. We don't have that. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I'm just going to use my little trusty corner punch. And I actually found a little teflon sheet. It's only tiny, but I'll just move it along. I think that's going to help. Yeah, smarter, much smarter. Okay, obviously I don't know what temperature this is. This is my making iron. So it doesn't matter if I get paint and stuff on it. Oh, it's not even sitting down. I'm gonna to have to put the phone down, see if I can concentrate. Guys, I honestly did read the instructions. I watched them on. <laughs> my incompetence knows no bounds. I actually managed just to stick it to its own backing paper. Yes, I forgot to peel it off. Oh, for goodness sake, what the noggin. Let's go and print out another one. Okay, so I've just reprinted it with a border this time. So it makes more sense, hopefully, on the design. We're going to ignore this one that the printer didn't like. And this one that came out all blurry. I have no idea why. This is turning out to be an expensive apron. Maybe I should do that on the edge. Okay, I think I got it. Ooh, that's very satisfying. Okay. Oh, it feels like it's already stuck. That's good. Okay, should we have a little look? Fingers crossed. Oh, flipping it. Oh, mate. Oh, I've already messed it up. I'll tell you what, I want to give up now. Oh, and ironing it has made the yellow got orange. Look at the shame about that bit where I peeled it back. Well, I think we can say it wasn't a complete success. How puppy. But it also wasn't a complete failure. Yeah, that's still all right, isn't it? No, what I had planned. More bloopers for the real. Okay, enough apron shenanigans. Let's get to work, shall we?
is my little on brand car though hello lovelies i've been thinking about a way to package my matchbox makes kits now they make these adorable kind of things that's from the celebration kit that's from the be kind kit there's three matchboxes in each kit they're really cute and they're really good value but at the moment they come in these which is literally that's all it is um it, this is a biodegradable obviously cello bag etc um and everything you need is in there but if you're giving it as a gift for christmas even if it's less than a fiver it doesn't look a lot like that does it so i've been trying to think of a way to kind of make it look more giftable without adding on extra packaging for the sake of adding it on because i'm really not one for that it's like with my stickers i know i could put them in a cello bag with a little header and things on top and i'd love to design them and i wouldn't mind making them but just to make it look more for the consumer and have it waste more for the environment isn't my bag so i want to make something that's going to be that's going to add value without adding waste does that make sense so what i've come up with i'm trying to look for them now is i got my the tracing paper that i printed last week don't you remember and i've made little pouches yes just with a little bit of double sided tape and they're a bit of a faff but they're really cute put a nice little sticker there and then and then popped everything inside which makes it look so much nicer already and then i've also added um, because there's always leftover elements because you don't use all the pieces I give you some you know I mean you might but it'd be hard to fit them all on but I like to include quite a few so that you can choose which ones you use um, so now I've included a little card blank, blank card and a gift tag that you can decorate with the extra elements and then you can obviously use them with the gift and it's in like a matching set so I'm very pleased with myself about that so all it's really cost me is the tracing paper, sheet tracing paper, and these little things. But I think it's really added something to the kits, and I think it's made them even more giftable. It's very exciting. You may have seen this in my social media, but I need to share it here too. Hello, my lovelies. I want to start a washi tape revolution and I need you to help me. It's going to be a tiny revolution, but we can all make a difference. So this is my washi tape. It comes wrapped in paper rolls. That's it. Makers, you can ask for your washi tape just to be wrapped in paper and sent to you that way. There is no need for plastic. Buyers, can you please, when you buy washi tape, message the seller and say, no plastic for me, please. And the seller will have to unwrap theirs if it's already wrapped. Then they will have to get rid of the rubbish. Now, I'm thinking if there's enough of us doing that, there's going to be a lot of rubbish. And hopefully more makers will just ask for their washi tape.
to be plastic free. Hey my loves, it's Saturday. Um, I'm gonna start putting the vlog together soon. But look at the weather, it's so pants. Well, you know, it's just weather, but you know, sometimes it makes a difference to how you feel, doesn't it? There's not a filter for that, is there, loves? So. I just received a little parcel from Love DNA. I love, love getting posts from Alison and crew. Alison and her mum, they're the sort of crafters that really spoil their customers and it's so super. Okay. I'm just opening my lovely parcel. Oh, look at the fabric. Tells me how to look after it. Now there's a special way I have to... Okay, my love, she's just going to have to cope with I think I've done it right, I don't really know. But I'm just in love, in love with the fabric. Oh, I've got a great big fat head, is it going to work? I think I need to puff it up a little bit more. What do you reckon? Oh, I haven't done it like she does it. I need a bit of practice. Isn't it gorgeous? What a treat. Ooh la la. I just thought I'd open this little one. I don't know what it could be, because I've got loads of this stuff already. <laughs> the packaging is just so nice. <gasps> oh, look! Oh, man! It's one of the things, look! Isn't that amazing? Just clip it on. Oh, what a freebie. She's very naughty, giving me this. Love the DNA. Isn't it cute? Come on, your handbag. It's sorted. It's ready. Love it. Thank you. So this is so thoughtful because she's done it in my brand colour. So she knows I love it. <sighs> so kind. Okay, quick little look this morning. I think we finally cracked it. I think this is the end. I'm not going to change it anymore. No more shelves. No more plugging in printers because <laughs> it's a nightmare. So look, this is all going on over here now. And I don't think they look too, too bad put together, given that they're both big beasts. They're just kind of in their own zone. But it means I've freed up all of that space. Isn't it heavenly? I feel lovely. So it's late Saturday night, but I wanted to get the vlog done tonight so I can post it tomorrow because it's taken me hours to upload it at the minute. I don't know why. Still learning, so much to learn. Um, I hope you've enjoyed what I've shared this week. Please let me know in the comments what anything else you'd like to see. And please, please click the like and share. There. Like and subscribe, that'll be it. Please, please click the like and subscribe button and maybe the little bell. Cheers!